There's nothing like being 17 years old with the wind in your hair and your hands at the controls of a fast ride that literally flies. Such is the case for a chosen few students from Sterling High School who are learning how to be pilots as part of a program involving the Flying Tigers Flight School. It's an eclectic assortment of top students. One out of like every like 4,000 kids may even get to fly and you, not everybody can say that. You know, if you're 17 you have a pilot's license, you don't even have a driver's license yet. I take people flying and let people into my hobby and, you know, I don't like being selfish with it. I just want everybody to know how fun it is to come flying. And they take off and land right out of William P. Hobby, the fourth busiest airport in the state. No kidding, it's no high school thing. It's real professional. Um, you know, talking with the controllers, taking off and landing, it's real busy. You gotta focus on different instruments at one time, and you know, you can't just fixate on one instrument because you probably turn into a tree or something. <laughs> The classroom work is complex. Bad grades can result in grounding. If they have the mature maturity about them, uh, they, they seem to get into it and, and progress real quick. But it's, a, it's a, a, a lot of hard work. The students test their skills on flight simulators, and there's an emphasis on instrument training. These kids have already been uh, selected because of their uh, academics and conduct and, and other uh, things. And they, so when they get here, they know that they're going to be flying and they're real excited about it. It's a life-changing event for these students. All have big dreams about being fighter pilots, commercial pilots, or flying private jets. And dreams like that can come true. Uh, right now, I'm uh, first officer on a 737 for Continental Airlines based out of Intercontinental Airport. Corey Shepard learned to fly in the Sterling program and now also teaches for Flying Tigers. I just think it's important that people give back. You know, a lot of us, we make it to these, this point. Uh, we uh, chase our dreams and we get to the career that we want, or a good job, or, you know, wherever you want to be when you become an adult. And a lot of times we forget to give back. Reporting for Houston Airports Today, I'm Marlene McClinton.